Good morning one and all my name is Somil Shah and in this python tutorial i would be teaching you how to convert web scraping data into a restful api so what are you waiting for let's get started with the tutorial series so in my last tutorial i explained you how to uh, do a web scraping on a website that is an indian website we extracted the gold rates right we did that right now in this tutorial i would be explaining you how to convert that code that we did in the last video that is um, getting gold rates from indian websites using python we will convert this into a restful data api api call so now we have this uh, code from the last time right now i need to convert the data so if i just print the data so let's run it and see what do we get uh, might take a while it might take a minute or two So the gold rate is thirty nine thousand four hundred and sixty five point twenty paisa in India for ten grams of gold. Right now, I need to convert this into a RESTful API. Let's do this, guys. So the very first thing that I need to do is first of all I import JSON from in order because I need to convert this data into JSON. Whenever you're dealing with web, it's always JSON data, right? So now let's define a payload. I'm gonna say R E S P O response. I'm gonna say 200. That means it's okay. And then I will say data. Data. Right. Now I need to convert this into a JSON payload. So I'm gonna use the dump as method in uh, the JSON payload. Now what I can do is I can print the payload. Right. Sorry, spelling mistake. All right. Let's run this and see. Now this should be a JSON data. Yeah, you can see response two hundred data is thirty nine thousand four sixty five point twenty. All right, so that looks good. Now let's move to the RESTful API, guys. So I have a basic template right here, which I usually use every time. Right now, let's um, do a little paste, copy paste. All right, so I'm gonna copy the entire code of that gold rate that I just developed in the last tutorial. Uh, I mean the entire class. Move here. Wanna. All right, same everything from the last class. Let's go lab start, right? Now, whenever I call this API, um what I want to do is basically basically uh run this part. Right. So, let's do that. I have a lot of tutorial on this uh, so I I think I I do not need to repeat all of these. I have several tutorials on Flask by the way. Uh, so just if you guys are new and new to my channel and wondering what the hell is going on so wanna give you a wanna tell you that i do have a lot of tutorials so if you do not know please like do watch first <clears throat> all of that excuse me all right there's an indentation issue so i fixed it a little bit here a little bit there right now <clears throat> i need to return this payload All right our API is ready now uh, hopefully and it also has a swagger UI uh yeah now let's change this to gold ray uh yep that's pretty much it guys our API is ready let's test it out oh before that one more thing forgot to import json import request and you know what guys a good programmer should do always and simply just printing a message that some modules are missing All right so everything is loaded up 
we are forgetting one more thing always the author please if you are copying my code I, i don't have an issue but please learn to give credits to people that's what uh, bothers me like people copy my code a lot i mean i love it because you are learning it but please do credit also like this guy i i i have taken the reference from this people or you know that's a like a you know an ethics to follow whenever you are using somebody else code so the author is defined now version is defined and uh, similarly if you want to contact me or all right looks good uh, neat and sweet right uh, let's try to run it i haven't tried it right all right so um, what i need to do is now i need to open postman maybe yeah it's fine i'll just do a web request let's run this guy hopefully that works and congratulations that works now let me open do a simple request uh, where is my mozilla or chrome whatever so remember our api call was uh, 127.5000 like slash cool rates so hopefully you should get the json data uh, what 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 went wrong <laughs> so um um uh, uh yeah i think maybe a spelling mistake all right it says 404 not found that's weird i mean why gold rate http 1.1 let's try to fix it so always learn to uh, fix your errors um it's always fun by the way so let me see first of all if actually it is printing a payload because want to make sure oh i did not save it you know what yeah so uh reloading all modules are loaded so here you can see now let's try to run that because i did not maybe uh let's see all right we have a name error name beautiful soup is not defined come on serious oh yeah i forgot to import beautiful soup right 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 of course it will give me error right i blindly copy paste <laughs> so let's import that ow error let's save it and uh, restart our server beautiful it started and uh, let's try to make that request now hopefully now you should get the gold rate in the json data congratulations guys you just got a json data like that how cool is that right you just converted your code into a beautiful uh, you converted your web scraping code into a into a restful api don't forget guys this also has a swagger you know let me show you i don't know the exact um, is it html or uh yeah it also has a swagger ui i just need to figure out um what url uh, i have given in my code um is it like the home url oh yeah it's slash doc here you can see so yeah so let's do that let me show you the swagger ui so you can also do that all right so slash doc all right oops 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 i forgot yeah that should be go work and here you see a swagger ui uh expand the row here you can see you can try it out you can just say press this button and it should give you json data how cool is that guys just imagine the power of python you can do i mean you can just create anything with it i mean web scraping apis just mix all of that and you know it's fun i mean imagine how powerful this language is but at the same time remember it's slow i mean compared to c++ it's slow that's it for this tutorial uh, my name is somil shah i hope you are enjoying uh, videos on my uh, uh, channel because i try to create fresh contents um, which you won't find it on any other channels right so thank you for your love support i really appreciate all your um, uh, all you guys um, are watching my videos are uh, liking me and uh, commenting saying that you're doing a great job thank you so much for that i just want to say thank you very much and i'm i'll try my best to create the best contents and the best technology that is available in the market uh so that like you guys can learn it 
from me. So thank you for watching. Once again, uh, my name is Samil Shah. If you haven't subscribed, please make sure to cl click the bell icon and you won't miss any notification. Thank you. Goodbye.